words of the day. Save the earth. People. Pollution. The modern day traveler enthusiastically seeks the coast. Our quest for recreation by the sea is almost insatiable. While tourism brings with it much needed revenue, the sheer volume of tourists is destroying the very thing that they have come to see. Tourism will continue to be one of the main sources of income for coastal peoples in the 1990s. The increased number of tourists adds significantly to the population of coastal resorts. For example, it has been estimated that the coastal population of the Mediterranean at least doubles during the summer months. United Nations projections indicate that visitors could number 760 million by 2025 and with a resident population of around 150 million. This influx of people means that vast quantities of sewage are discharged into the shallow seas where it can kill seagrass beds by depriving them of oxygen and lead to increased growth of poisonous algae blooms. The frequent threat of algae slime on beaches has led the authorities in the Gulf of Genoa to build a 22 mile, 35 kilometer barrier just offshore to prevent the algae reaching the beach. This is a purely cosmetic exercise, for in the meantime, there has been no treatment of the underlying sewage problem. Our enthusiasm for the coast is also leading to the virtual extinction of species that require a habitat free from human disturbance like turtles and the Mediterranean monk seal. For the turtles, the age-old threat has been their destruction on the breeding beaches and the removal of their eggs. To this has now been added the construction of tourist facilities. The plight of the world's coral reefs is a particularly telling example of tourist damage. The nutrients in the sewage from tourist centers contribute to the growth of algae on the reef, where they ultimately replace the coral. The cumulative effects of careless divers trampling the coral, anchors destroying the reef as they are dragged, and the collection of coral for souvenirs are all taking their toll. Cooking at Copacabana Soaking up damaging ultraviolet radiation to get a tan remains one of the world's favorite pastimes. But the depletion of the protective ozone layer and the ever-increasing incidence of skin cancer are making people think again. Shell collecting. The overcollection of the giant trident shell, predator of the crown of thorn starfish, was thought to have led to a plague on the starfish, devastating areas of the Great Barrier Reef. People, pollution. Words of the day. Save the earth.